Man, I, dude, like everything is just a, a fucking son of a bitch in this world. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, I just, hold on. Let me turn that off. Right, so, um, at this point, I'd say I've been here for about five days, right? I remember I made that video where, like, the second day or whatever it was, I saw that little one. And then, like, the next day, I saw that big one crawling on my desk. Or crawling on the desk, which the rag I smushed it with is still sitting there on that, that tote. I still haven't, added, like, haven't shook it out yet or whatever. Um, but the way it went, and, and again, proving my point, right? So when I was first here, what did I say? Oh, well, at least it's only over by the kitchen. I don't spend much time there. And then it's going to be on the desk, right? And then I say, well, at least it's not in the, the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, area where I sleep, you know, the bed, right? That was, cause that was the only thing I noted. Okay. I'd seen one over there. Well, at least it's not on the table. Okay. I see it on the table. Okay. Well, at least it's not in the actual like living, you know, like the bed bathroom area. So what does that mean? What do you think that means? What that means is, so I, I've been laying in bed all day. Like I said, haven't seen nothing for the last couple of days. And then I go into the bathroom a minute ago and I sat down and guess, and, and what do I see? I see one run across the fucking ground towards the, the edge of the, like the bathtub on the floor, you know, like where it like, it's like it's the floor and then like it, it starts to run that way. I'm like, you son of a bitch. And there's one of the towels, you know, laying on the ground. And same thing, I just threw it on top of it and fucking stomped it. But I'm like, 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 come on. You know what I mean? Like, come the fuck on. Like, why is this always just some bullshit, you know? And it's like one of those things to where, and this is what I mean, right? Like, it, it, it's like, you're going to see them enough to where it'll, like, surprise you but it, it's not level like the level of total disgustingness right like that one place i, I wish i'd and man if, if sd cards were cheap as fuck like they are now you know where you could get a 256 gig for 30 dollars or something or like a 512 or 480 or whatever just in general, I mean, there's so much shit from 2019 I don't have anymore. Because um, I had to delete it. You know, I needed the space for something else. I wish I had recorded. I still had some pictures I've, I've, I've posted on rants before. <clears throat> but that was disgusting, right? They'd be all over the walls, all over the ceiling, all over everything. And it was sort of the same way. And it's always like this. Well, at least I haven't seen them in this and that area, right? And then you see them there, right? Now, that one I could tell was a big one, right? Like, by the standards of, like, you know, like house roaches or whatever, you know what I mean? But what I was talking about uh, the other day in one of those videos is, like, where I had mentioned if it stays at the level that it's at then it's basically like when I was living with that bitch in, you know, 2019, end of 2019. Like, she waited for me to move in and for me to, like, start seeing them. Uh, and then me say something, and then she's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. But it was the same way with her place, right? Most of them were kind of like that, sort of like, you know, medium to semi, like, medium, large type. You know, it's like there's medium and then large, and then, like, in the middle, it's like medium. So they're not, like, big, really, but it's, they're not small, either, whatever. Um, but you would, it, like, with her, 
it was the same idea, like you just, you'd see one occasionally, right? So it would like, it would like surprise you. But with her, it was the same way, right? It's like I only ever saw one, I only ever saw one in my room that I remember. Or because it was on the wall and I, you know, smashed it. Um, I don't remember seeing any in my room after that, but... You know, occasionally you'd see one by the sink, right? Or like in the bathroom. And like, I just, I don't know, I hate that because it's, and you know, now I'm, I was actually, before I saw that, I was, I was thinking about that. Where, when I said I'd been here in 2019 for a week and I hadn't seen nothing, you know, it, it's very possible that. I just could have happened to be looking the other way the whole time, you know what I mean? I just, you know, there might have been, you know, a few there, and I just didn't notice them, right? I mean, I know for a fact that when I was, you know, sitting at the table that I had, you know, in my room back then, my computer was set up, right? So, I, I just focused on the computer, I just might not have noticed, right? Um, so, I mean, that, you know, it's possible, but I, it's just, it, it's just, it's like, it's always designed as like an insult, right? And now you don't know, it's like, was that another one, right? Uh, was there, you know, um. Was it another one, or was it that one that I smushed under that rag? Maybe it wasn't actually dead, and it skittered off, and then that's the same one. It, like, you don't really know, right? Um, one thing I will say is that, like, if I'm in the bathroom, well, right, like, if I'm standing in here, right, you'll see the doors to my left here, right? And so, sitting on the toilet, I'm facing this way, and it came from the left, now what I had noticed at the bottom of these door frames, there's this big gap, right? Now roaches generally, they like to stay in the gaps in the walls, right? It's warmer, it's, you know, generally damper, you know, they prefer to be in crawl spaces, you know, um, like those types of areas, like in the, in the, the gaps, right? But like if I look at like even at the bottom of this, the door at the front, there's these gaps at the bottom of the door jam. So what it's likely being is the ones that would you know normally be in the walls and, and never really come into the common areas because of that gap they're they're coming out of there right. And uh, I took a shower yesterday or no the day before. And that was one of the things I mentioned. Well, at least I don't see any in here. <laughs> and it, and it's just, it's like designed to fuck with you like that, you know. Um, one, of, one of the things I'm going to try. I don't think I have any with me right now. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I might have some, like, you know, in storage, so to speak. Like, I don't have all my shit with me. But... One of the things you can do, and I've actually seen some hotels do this, um, like around gaps, like especially like around the sink over here and shit like that, um, instead of putting like a sealant, uh, they'll just take like Vaseline uh, and just smear it on there. And it's not the same effect, but it does fill the gap and uh, it is, you know, like a moisture barrier. And bugs don't exactly want to try to go through that. But what I might do. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Probably something like that. You know. Maybe like rub something. You know. Well with a gap that big. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work the best. But. Um, probably something like that. You'd want to use maybe like tape or something to tape on, on the gaps. But. That's basically what they do, right? So, um, generally the type of structures that you're going to see them infest, so to speak, 
I mean, I'd read this online to the extent it's true. I don't know for a fact, but um, basically every place has roaches. Um, it, it's just, it, it's an infestation when they start coming into the areas that we live in, right? But most of the time they're, you know, they're behind the walls and different shit like that. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just so annoying, right? You know, and I know some people are, you know, one thing I got tired of when I was living in St. Louis in that place, and I was trying to talk to that this one guy I worked with about it. He was like, oh, yeah, I, I had roaches. I've lived with roaches. And it's like, it, it's not the same thing. We're like, we're not talking about the same life circumstances here. Say, okay, you had them. All right, so what? Right? That's not the the full story, right, and every time I see this shit, and it, like, it bothers me like it does, it's not even the, the bugs, really, it's just, like, indicative of a, of a point in my life that was very traumatic, right, so they're, like, just a reminder, and, yeah, I mean, there is the disgust factor, humans just innately have a, a disgust response to insects, like that, right? Um, what was I going to say? But but that that's just only one aspect, right? That that's not what gives you the PTSD when you see them, right? Because I mean, think about it. If my life were otherwise perfect and I'd stayed at that place in St. Louis, it would have just been that that place that was gross because it had a bunch of roaches, right? It's the context of the whole thing uh, that is is the actual problem, right? But, you know, the big ones are gross, right? Um, the small ones, like, they're so small, like, they may as well just be an ant or something. That doesn't really bother me. Um, it's actually better... If you're not seeing a lot of juveniles, because that means they're not fucking reproducing in there, right? Like that place I had in St. Louis, most of them were like the tiny or sort of like medium-sized ones, you know? But you know that room I had there? They, there, there was a fucking, you know those big circular trash cans with wheels on them? Uh, like that, you know, like fast food restaurants would fill their trash up to take out to the dumpster or something. They had a big ass trash can like that in my room and it was filled with trash from the day I moved in. I wasn't going to empty that shit out. Right? That that not attract them. But... I'll go ahead and tell this story, I guess. Oh, and, and by the way, right, this is my travel vlogs. Now, those of you, particularly black pillars, who have heard the most about this, you get to see what my life was like for all these years. Up into 2019, you get to see me. Look, I'm just in a hotel room alone. Nobody to talk to, right? No anything. And, like, the, the only thing I can really do is when I'm not paying for the rent or whatever. I just noticed you could see that I ate protein bars earlier. Um, the only thing that I do other than pay for the place is squish bugs occasionally, right? Like, this is basically my experience when I was living with that bitch that I was talking about. But it was the same idea, right? You would see roaches in her place occasionally, you know. It, it wasn't it wasn't like a super infestation or whatever. It was just like an occasional thing you'd see. But you know, I remember before I was at, uh, going to before I stopped living with that bitch, and it was actually right when I had met my first uh, sorry my last ex Tyler, because I was still staying there when I met him. 
you know, the black dude, last guy I dated. And I had never seen this before, so it was like, oh, perfect timing. That day that he had came there the first time, after he left, I sort of, you know, walked him to the door. Um, and then when I, when I, whenever he left for whatever reason, uh, I went out into the hall. I don't know. Maybe I'd had to go to my car or something. I don't remember. But somebody had put signs all over the walls saying, this, uh, this place is filled with roaches. You know, like these big signs and shit. And then, like, the next day they'd be down and then somebody would fucking put them up again. So that would have been the first thing he saw when he got there, right? Now, in her place, it wasn't that bad. You know, um... Although, I'd say, honestly, I've probably seen him less than I've seen him here frequency-wise. Um, because I've seen three now in the last five days. When I was living with that bitch, I might have seen that many in, you know, a month or two. But it was still especially so close to those experiences earlier that year. Uh, you know, it really brought out my PTSD. Um, but yeah, like that, uh, that place I stayed at in, uh, 2019, you know, West, uh, Westport, or hold on, Northwest Airport Inn or whatever it's called. Uh, all right, hold on, I fucking forgot where I was going with that. God damn it. All right, well, I stopped the video and went back and tried to figure out what my train of thought was, and I can't even fucking remember. Um, I'll just I'll just go from what either I thought I was trying to say or whatever. I don't know. Of course, as soon as I'm about to fucking start talking, like, I turned the AC up. Like, like turn, fucking turn off. Right, it gets hotter, but that thing's loud. Um, but I think that might have been one of the, the factors is that having a big ass trash can in that fucking hotel room. But they got people that's supposed to be their job to take that shit out, but people don't care. You know what I mean? Now I'm just starting. I don't even know what. What the fuck is that? Like a mosquito or something. But you see what I mean? Like it puts me on edge like that. And the thing, and that sort of proves my point, right? Maybe that's what I was getting at. When I was staying there, I had had roaches before, right? Um, and even when I was there, I didn't react that way. You know? Um, now, now I think I remember where I was going with that. Um... So I'll tell a story from when I was a kid, right? And this would have been, I was probably 10 or 11. I remember because this was right around the time that I had played Deus Ex for the first time and Metal Gear Solid 2, right? So at the time, I didn't have a PC. I was playing on PS2. And the PS2 version of Deus Ex is called uh, Deus Ex The Conspiracy, so the, these game every, people have heard about the you know the you know the AI conversations in MGS2 and you know those games are really you know you want to call them black pill reality pilled whatever you know they they really uh, you know I should have took them more seriously but at the time when you're 11 you don't really understand the ramifications but I can remember my mom and my stepdad had, you know, uh, got this little house that was actually pretty close to where I grew up, right? So, down the street one way, there was, like, the, the apartments that my mom first had when I was little. And then, like, right across the street from it was, like, the condos we lived in when I was little. And even back in the days of, 
you know, that first apartment, I mean, I was up to maybe, maybe like six years old or something. And I, I can remember vaguely, you know, the being bugs there. Like just seeing stuff crawling on the walls. And of course, when you're a little kid, you, you don't really know what that's about. Um, but I remember it fondly for a reason that back in 2019 again there was this episode of Joe Rogan where he had Eddie Bravo on and maybe some other people but he was talking about how you know like uh how your mom you know when you were a kid you know she get the big bag of cereal right like the and what he was referring to I think is Malto meal I remember that you know you get like it was like they were meant to be like honey smacks or this or that but they were like generic and there was just these big bags that were like the discount price right I mean, his story, he was talking about his mother, he got some money or something, and it's like, oh, now y'all go to the store and get, like, you know, you pick out the good cereal you want or whatever, right? But I, but I remember eating from those big bags of cereal when I was a kid, and that place, you know, it had roaches. Didn't really bother me at the time because I was just little, right? But then we lived in these, you know, condominiums for a few years. At least when I was eight, right? I remember my stepdad coming over for, you know, probably the first times I'd ever seen him. And uh, that was back when I was into Dragon Ball Z. And so I was drawing all my favorite characters. And Vegeta was always my favorite. And, you know, like the old school DBZ. I like, you know, I liked Vegeta. I liked Nappa. I liked Raditz. You know. Um, I was sort of already developing that sort of, you know, like root for the underdog mentality, kind of acknowledging the injustices and all this. And people wanted to play Vegeta off as a bitch or whatever, but <clears throat> either way, like I'd already began to identify with characters like that. Cause you start having these experiences early, right? But, uh, in the condo, I remember you know, I was still young enough that I'd remember we'd still be getting government cheese, you know. Like my stepdad would bring over some sometimes, you know, even into their, like, early to mid-90s like that. After they had stopped doing that program, uh, people had tons of it, and they'd be selling it, you know. So I remember eating that shit, you know, and it was good shit, you know, but, um. I know I've seen people online saying, oh, you know, if you're, if you're looking for that kind of style, you get like the, you know, Velveeta or something, ain't nothing come close to that, but that place, it didn't have roaches, but it had, a, um, you know, you get like a lot of spiders in there, uh, a lot of those, I used to call them mosquitoes, but I don't remember what people really call them. But they're like mud hoppers or or some some bullshit like that. But they'd always collect up in the corners, you know. And I'd see them, I'd freak out, you know. My sister would freak out too, you know. My half sister, technically, whatever. One time we got a frog in the house because there was a sock on the ground, and me and my mom were sitting on the couch watching. I used to love my mother. And I always remember it like we'd lay together on the couch and I would like stick my feet like behind her, you know, to like help stay warm or whatever. You know, it's like I'd be like wedged up, you know, like sort of like behind her or whatever on the couch. And we'd watch Space Ghost, we'd watch Beavis and Butthead, you know, shit like that. You know, whenever I'd get home from school, we'd sit there watching you know, uh, Soul Train, and, you know, like, in Living Color, and all that shit, um, but anyways, one time, we, me and her were sitting there, and there was a sock on the ground that started hopping, and, like, it literally, it started going like this, and, uh, it turns out there was a frog in it, and so the girl that lived right next to us, she was, like, that type, and she just, you know, would mess with anything, but, she came over and got it and took it out, right? Um, and back then, I still believe that bullshit about 
oh, if you touch frogs, you get warts or whatever bullshit. Um, so that was the area that this house that my mom and my stepdad got was. And it wasn't like they bought it. It wasn't a mortgage. Basically, they were renting it, right? But I can remember we had moved in and I was excited because I basically got the biggest room, right? Um, you know, normally they, my, they'd give my, you know, and even when we were older, like, when they had actually got a house, like, you know, actually like a mortgage, whatever, they always give my bitch sister the best room. You know, there's that anti-male shit, but I was excited to get the best room. It was the biggest room. And like back then I had this futon bed, right? And I remember I was sitting there with my Xbox and my PS2 and everything. And I was playing Metal Gear Solid 2, right? And and when she had moved us into this place, this was like I would just gotten to the part of the game where you start having the conversation with the AI when it starts to glitch out. Right? Everybody knows that scene in NGS2. Um, but I can remember I was playing Halo and that and all that. Um, and I remember at one point I'm sitting in front of my PS2 and I look to my side and there's this big bug crawling on the wall. <clears throat> and then uh, my room actually had its own bathroom, which was cool, you know. Because even back then when I'm like, 10 years old, 11 years old already, I didn't want to be around anybody, so the less I have to, you know, come out of my room, the better, um, I remember going to the bathroom and seeing them crawling around, and I told my mom about it, and she said, oh, the owner said, oh, that's no big deal, those are just water bugs, uh, if anybody doesn't know, water bug is just another name for cockroach, right, and in fact, in MGS2, if you've played it, you might remember that scene where Raiden's walking around through that area that the floor's covered in roaches. And, like, if you walk through them, they, like, move out of your way, right? Um, some people have even said that that was supposed to be, like, a metaphorical scene because they're, like, red-colored. And it was supposed to be some metaphor for, like, parting the Red Sea or some type of shit like that. I don't know about all that, but... Um, By the way, Phil Lamar, you know, the dude from Mad TV, the dude that was Marvin in Pulp Fiction, he did the voice for Vamp. That dude has tremendous range as an actor. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's like sea cockroaches, right? Like that, like live in the ocean. There's even something called sea lice that are a big problem for whales, right? Whales don't have hair. But you can look that up online, right? But yeah, uh, cockroaches like water. They're water bugs, you know, metaphorically or whatever. So what that dude was trying to do is, you know, basically he had rented this piece of shit house to my mother and then tried to explain that shit away. And I knew she wasn't buying it because we were starting to see him more and more. And, uh, we, we were probably only there a week before we moved out again. But the thing is, you know, like, even at that point when I was, you know, 10, 11, I didn't react to seeing them that way. I mean, even when, like, I look, you know, it's like I was sitting, in, you know, playing those games and the wall's right next to my head. I look over and see it right there, you know. And uh, I didn't even react that way to them. When I was living at that place in uh, St. Louis, dude, I'd wake up and they'd be on the ceiling crawling around, you know. They'd be crawling on the fucking walls next to the bed and everything else. And, you know, I would say, oh, don't jinx yourself, but that, that stuff's all bullshit. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But now it's like I'm thinking, okay, well, at least I haven't seen them in the bed. And it's like, okay, well, now I'm going to see them in the fucking bed. And in fact... That last day I stayed at Northwest Airport Inn in St. Louis. Technically it's St. Anne, but it's called that because it's like the closest hotel to the St. Louis Airport. 
because that's where I came from. Uh, there's a Greyhound station uh, at the airport or whatever that I got picked up from. Um, I didn't go directly there. I would stayed in a Motel 6 for a couple weeks first. I had to work. You know, it took me until the end of my stay to even find the two jobs I got. And then I had to be homeless while working jobs for two weeks to save enough money. Really, I get, well, really three weeks. Because my, you know, at Taco Bell, my first, you know, payment, it's like delayed a week or, or whatever, right? And you only get paid every two weeks. So it takes you three weeks to get your first fucking pay, right? <clears throat> and, uh, but, so, you know, it was actually about a month in, through three weeks in or whatever, before I even got that place. And I remember the day I had enough money, I, I called them, and I was like, y'all still got a room? He was like, yeah, I was like, how much, you know, you know, I was hoping it was still the price it was when I had originally called, um, and I was happy to get it at first thousand dollars two hundred dollar deposit you know that you know this place has cost me twenty four hundred a month right um it's supposed to be like twenty six hundred because calling the reservation line got me a, a better deal even than the member price on the site but based on paying the minimum balance each week effectively it'd only be twenty four hundred dollars right but still that's Almost two and a half times more than that place. Now, granted, that place was way worse, right? Five days at that place, I was. It was. It was just. They were everywhere, you know. Anything I had, I'd have to put in plastic bags, whatever, right? So sort of like this, you know. I'd have everything in plastic bags, whatever. Um, but even then, right, it's like, yeah, it was gross, it disgusted me, um, but I didn't have that jump response like I do now, because, you know, again, it's not, it's not actually the roaches themselves, it's the, the, the place that puts me back in, right, and when I was living with that bitch at the end of 2019 where she had them, Right, and it was the same idea. You occasionally see one in the kitchen. You might see one, you know, in the bathroom sometimes. And this bitch was nasty. She'd uh, she'd just leave her fucking dirty dishes in the sink, like half filled with water. And it's like, dude, there there'd be like the little roaches, like dead, just floating in the water. It's like this bitch is nasty. <sighs> um, but. You, know, you might see one here, you might see one there, but when I was there, like I said, I was, this was like the, the, the post, it was sort of like my first ex, like it doesn't hit you till months afterwards what you experienced, right? So when I was with that bitch, um, most of my time was spent, if I weren't at the gym, right, or just cramming my face with food, or making rants, right? People, you know, I had a guy the other day, oh, I'd love to meet you. I've been watching since I'm the Amstead. It's like, yeah, but I was doing videos like that in late 2019. I just didn't have the black pill label to put on it yet. That was back when I was natty fatty powerlifting, right? And actually, I was doing that stuff years and years before even that with just, you know, my username was some guy. That's all it was, right? Then it was natty fatty powerlifting because I became sort of like a lifter channel. And then further into 2019, I started doing more of that, you know, because I started staying with that bitch and maybe it was, well, it was summer. And then later in the year, I, you know, was watching BSM more, VVS more, all that stuff. His original channel, not the, not the re-uploads. And I'd start talking more about these topics. Um, and that's when I decided to brand myself Omni Opstep. Um, now when I deleted that original channel, I, I, I could have, I could have backed up everything I'd ever uploaded, but I had only backed up the stuff that I 
thought I would want. And now I really regret it. Because that, that shit's gone forever. I remember seeing people post on re-uploads. Oh, you know, he's just taking a break. He'll be back. Or he just deactivated his channel. Or No, I deleted it. And once I realized I regretted it, like you have a period of time you can sign back in. And it kind of sort of cancels the process. By the time I tried signing, it was too late again. Or tried, by the time I tried signing, it was too late. So that sucks. You know, there's a lot of shit I wish I could re-upload. Um, but yeah, so... There actually were a couple black pillars that watched me back then. One of them hasn't made videos since 2019. And he told me why. And just... He was never disrespectful towards me or anything. So just out of, you know respect for him. I won't say who it was or why he stopped making videos. Um, oh yeah, I was watching Oreo, man. I made that video the other day cooking with Brandon and some guy said, uh, you know, his videos are therapeutic. I'd fell asleep watching that, uh, video. I'd basically had it on repeat for like a day. I was watching him in 2019, late 2019, and back then I'd have his shit on repeat, you know, um, but nobody that watches me now that remembers Omniobstat remembers, like, they've seen Natty Fatty, they've seen Natty Fatty Power, uh, Natty Fatty 2.0 and all that, um, they've seen Exit Omnis, which is how you pronounce that, um, but nobody remembers the original Natty Fatty power lifting other than black pillars that don't even, don't even, aren't even on YouTube anymore. Or like certain people like Prophet Fear. Um, cause I, I, I'd start watching him back then. I'm sweating. It's pretty, pretty fucking hot in, uh, Atlanta. And, uh, you know. I just, I turned it off so it'd be a little bit quieter, but I'll, I'll rant more on this later. <sighs> Sometime next week, I'm going to think probably like a Wednesday or something, I'll have to pay for my second week. You know, it's reserved for, for basically eight weeks, but I could cancel it anytime. So if it got too bad, I could had a way out, right? But, uh. I'm going to have to, you know, get some of my stuff that I don't have with me. I'm going to get UPS box and then order uh, a case for that computer and a, uh, you know, like an SSD or some small hard drive just to put the OS on it. And then I'm going to get a carry case for it. That way, because, you know, it's like I thought, you know, if I leave here, just the way that is and no case or whatever it's like that board's going to get damaged i didn't really think about this but you know it i want to get a full tower case and I, i'd have to have one to put that big ass heat sink in it um but a decent sort of like padded case to like you know or bag to like carry a computer in like that might cost 200 plus dollars but it's whatever dude you know as long as the thing is protector or whatever if I'm going to put $3,500 in a computer may as well fucking you know get a decent way to carry it um but there's a few things I'm going to do uh next week you know still going to be here for a while you know unless you know it got really bad but once I have a computer or whatever set up I'll be doing even more rants than I've been doing, um, re -up, you know, uploading a lot of stuff that I've recorded over the last couple months that I haven't had a way to put up. Um, and once I got to the point where I can just sit here at a computer at the desk and, and fucking, you know, rant, you know, into the webcam or whatever, you'll see a lot more videos, a lot more 30 minute or, uh, you know, three hour videos or whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and end this. Anything I didn't think to say I'll say in another video at some other time but this one's already going to be it's going to take long enough to compress and upload um 
and hopefully I have the space to even get that done. I guess we'll see.